Hey guys, here for another Emphatic Fury War Recap. Uh, this was our second uh, midweek war, another 40v40, uh, even breakdown as you can see. We found Gujarat again, we have placed them on the CWL uh, regular season that we are uh, participating on the Highlight League. Uh, and yeah, we got a victory, uh, we struggled a bit on the nines, had to dip four of them. Um, but our guys up uh, just killed it with 3 11 v 11 triples and we have uh, 5 10 v 10 triples also uh, they got the same amount of uh, triples so i have just selected some um, some nice raids uh, and of course i hope you enjoy them let's start it so let's start uh, right here with uh, thomas uh, this was uh, our only uh, 10v11, but we we only tried for four times. So um, Gujarat uh, wasted lots of hits on the 10v11 game. Uh, we decided to just uh, use uh, 11 hits, and uh, we were successful there. Kind of a close war, but uh, nice win. So Thomas started there with a with a walk, had a <laughs> wall breaker fail, but then he had um, backup wall breakers, uh, so he managed to to do it, breaking there at eleven, <coughs> getting access to all of these uh, defenses. Um, a bit risky because of these uh, ads, but. Um, that sweeper might uh, even help. Uh, yeah, I was about to say that he would need a rage there. Nice wall breakers as the Tesla was distracted, uh, allowing AQ to walk out. Thomas, uh, along with Mitch, are. Uh, Really nice 10 v 11 attackers. Well, there she goes. Thank you. Going to the outside. Uh, healers barely staying out of the range of that AD, as you can see. <laughs> really in the border. But uh, really clutch. Eee, those <laughs> that bomb was kind of crazy. But well, meanwhile, AQ goes down. Uh, already did a really nice job, and then a nice gobo with the help of those healers at seven. And you have uh, a nice Valk dive to the town hall with a rage. Poison for the CC and EQ. Valks ended up uh, walking out. So I guess BK, yeah, BK will be the hero this time. There he goes. He already had the percentage, just needed the town hall. So he just raged BK. So the barbs will finish the, the town hall. A bit uh, close, but uh, nice hit here for Thomas on this 10 v 11. And let's start with the 11 v 11 triples. Starting here with uh, the air master Pumpa. You can see suicide heroes with a bowler, with bowler, so uh, kind of a bowlalo. He sent some wounds trying to get that archer tower, unfortunately. It got a, he stayed up, but uh, those barbs finish it. Meanwhile, Warden using the ability, so AQ will manage to get more value on that entry. As you can see, as she finishes the the, the CC troops, there she goes, and then using the ability, 
right before she goes down even getting some hits on that um, run warden defense but uh, warden finish it then replacing those those hastes so the loons can uh, go quick into the defenses that he wants going counterclockwise on this one <coughs> rage right there in the core aiming for that eagle there she goes and then just um, keeping those looms raged nice ground uh, expose helping on this one of course cleaning troops everywhere by Kendalloon for that Tesla and this space was uh, pretty much done even with a minion there so great great triple here for Pumpa as usual with the air attack next one uh, on base 4 we have Honest Honest uh, here with a ball rich Queen walk into a ball rich starting AQ at 6 funneling with that wizard <coughs> Really powerful strat when done uh, uh, the right way, of course. So he sends uh, some uh, some giants just to tank for the initial troops. Then uh, Pekka and BK uh, ahead of those uh, ballers and witches. A nice poison from the CC. Warden ability right there in the entry. You can see the, the eagle targeting the Pekka as the troops move. Uh, Town Hall went down really fast. Eagle down. So AQ uh, going on this left flank. Pekka leading the baller, ballers and, and some witches on the right. Some ballers in the middle. But. Uh, Pretty much a great entry. You can see the big uh, group of um, of bowlers and witches. Ooh, that wizard tower got almost well, all the bowlers from the right side. Uh, but warden there helping the those witches getting more powerful. You can see AQ still had the ability. So at this point, this base was already smashed so uh, great hit here from Honus even swagging AQ ability so great job we have one more <coughs> I think this is Flying Serpent uh, Town Hall 11 also coming here with a with a queen walk into a baller switch Been walking with the with the warden assistance, sending a room there, but he went <laughs> to the other side. BK tanking, Max Becker on the CC, and then uh, then they go to Bowers Bowlers, rage for the entry. Warden ability perfectly uh, timing right when the, the eagle was uh, was shooting, so preventing damage from there. Meanwhile, troops getting the usual split. Rage right there in the core. BK under fire of that inferno, unfortunately. But a big group of bowlers on the right. 
the Q on the left with that Pekka Bowlers uh, using the Town Hall just to bounce there grabbing everything and at this point main concern was that uh, Inferno you can see Baldur's getting there some shots and then AQ uh, will just finish it from the outside so there you go third 11 v 11 triple on this one from three different members so nice job Nice face on this space. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, move to the 10v10 um, action. Starting here with, uh, with my raid on this one. So on this one, I just did a AQ charge hogs. I took. Uh, advantage of the previous hit from JJD he did this walk uh, and this charge and I found it very 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 valuable so I decided to go there and uh, repeat it but uh, use hogs instead of uh, loons so you can see healers under a bit of fire but uh, AQ will take them out using uh, BK there to funnel also grabbing enemy BK and then poison for the CC also uh, reaching that enemy AQ valuable Kiwi from the left as you as you are seeing then meanwhile AQ enters the range of enemy AQ and the the ability just taking out enemy AQ then I started uh, box early, trying to avoid uh, this inferno to get AQ. And then you can see it's just a matter of using those nice heals because the main objective of the walk were achieved. Nice second heal there, covering all those empty spaces and uh, covering the, the two groups of hawks. And then uh, another heal, kind of a swag uh, poison, just to make sure. <laughs> but there was not a, a skelly there. But uh, you can see cleaning troops everywhere, lots of hogs remaining. So, kind of really enjoyed this uh, this triple. But we have four more uh, starting right here on this space 17. So we have Eno, Eno here with the Falcon. So he starts at three. Using a wizard uh, at two, so probably wanted AQ to move uh, down towards six. I don't know if she will do it. Yeah. Valuable start there on that wall because she just grabbed two two Teslas. Using the rage there, like you will deal with the enemy BK really quick and then getting a bomb tower now poison for the CC nicely placed there had to use ability because of that Valk and lots of uh, defenses on her but as she moved up there he goes uh, BK with a couple of wizards funneling that uh, side nice funnel on this empty space for the for the falcon 
so everybody inside the base the only remaining uh, rage used there but it was more needed of course and then just uh, heals to keep everyone nice and healthy nice bounces getting that Tesla outside the walls heal right there in the core and then just sending uh, hogs on the left defenses unfortunately grabbed a giant bomb on that entry and another <laughs> but uh, getting some defenses there and you can see a nice group of hogs and the ballers on the right wizards already cleaning on the left he still had a couple of hogs so uh, at this point this base was pretty much done a very valuable walk uh, on the entry and he managed to swag those hogs so nice job here for Eno <coughs> next one is flexing Texan also with the Falcon on this one so he started with a baby drag and a, and a bowler to funnel pre funneling this side with a minion also Valk so he starts a Q at 5 easy funnel with that uh, minion Use the Valk uh, up there at 3 just to make sure BK would move where he wanted. Looks like he wanted BK to join the, the Falcon main group of troops. Nice Valk's already going, and then the, the Ballers rage for that entry. Poison for the CC, heal. Another rage. There they go. And then hogs from the left. He all shared by the the troops and probably some hogs. Nice, uh, nice scaly for that uh, single inferno. Meanwhile, BK and the uh, bowlers from the outside. AQ was inside the base, but uh, she was dealing with those skellies. Unfortunately, that expo locked on into the healers. AQ banging the wall just to help there from the inside. <laughs> but uh, at this point, uh, it was uh, kind of close you can see AQ getting some more uh, defenses from the inside meanwhile BK and Vox were tanking for her nice Vox going for that um, for that mortar BK with the ability perfectly timing We'll just grab the, the last defenses along with those remaining bulks. So nice job for flex. Next one is base 19. And for this one we have Hino. Hino grabbing here his 10v10 uh, six pack. I don't know. Uh, it looked like he wanted AQ to move down, but uh, yeah, <laughs> she was smart enough to to go up and uh, get more value on that walk. AQ on the town hall, taking her time, 
Meanwhile, uh, she will deal with the BK. So I had to use a rage there. In the other side at 6, BK already funneling with the help of that wizard. BK will clear that uh, right flank and meanwhile there they go. Raged vaults with bombers behind. Nice deep heal on this one. And then another rage right there in the core as you can see. All the, the vaults and bombers inside the base. Really nice funnel. AQ banging the wall that will give access to that uh, single inferno. Vox uh, now with healers doing work on the left. Hawks coming from the right. And he still had uh, some more. But at this point it was looking really great. You can see lots of troops. Still had 4 hogs. AQ ability. Unfortunately uh, he left a, a corner hut on the right. <laughs> but plenty of troops to clear it. This was a really smooth one. You can see ending up with the AQ swag and the four hogs so great hit for Ino for his six pack and last last one Divino Jan coming here with a nice hogs attack so he starts uh, with giants right there on that inferno uh, funneling with wizards and then Wall breakers and the uh, golem behind with heroes. Rage as the as the giants just melted, but they did their job. Nice jump there, getting access to that uh, BK bomb tower. You can see nice bouncings <laughs> from those bowlers. BK using ability, really nice entry in this space. Great usage of those. Um, great usage of those uh, giants. Nice uh, hawks uh, starting there will allow AQ to to survive much longer. Really valuable, and then starting hawks. Here they come, going clockwise. It was a great start on this one. Cleaning troops already rolling. You'll have to use a heal there, yeah. AQ doing work behind, reinforcing hogs on that mortar, also distracting from the main, from the main group. Great spot for a, for a heal, of course, on that space. Nice uh, poison for the skellies. And then, just to end up uh, smoothly, he had another heal that probably could have uh, swagged, but just to make sure, because of that uh, wizard tower, there he goes, AQ, using ability, getting lots of archers to help with the cleanings, troops cleaning everywhere, really great hit from Vinogen on this one. Nice hits overall on this uh, on this war. Really like them. Let's just uh, take a look at some Town Hall 9s since the 11s and 10s took a lot of uh, of the showing for this recap. So we have Harness on the on his nine here with, with a nice go Vaho with uh, two jumps. Going there with uh, lots of wizards uh, funneling. You can see nice group of vaults. First jump down. Great funnel. There they go. Even more vaults in the CC. 
poison for the CC troops. Those Volks will do work for sure. Nice heal also for the kill squad. Another poison for the enemy AQ. And then hogs you can see coming from everywhere. Nice heal there in the core, allowing the, the Vox to share the heal with the hogs. So great uh, great attack from Honest on this one. Awesome base recognition, AQ doing work, uh, grabbing the last uh, Teslas. So you can see even had a, a loom there to help with cleanings. Great job for Honest on this uh, attack. Double jump, go Vaho. Just check the amount of remaining troops. Great hit. We have two more. Uh, base 26. Here from Nick. Uh, coming here with the AQ walk, go Boho, I think. Nice, uh, nice loon getting that uh, seeking air mine. Uh, wizard and baby drag funneling AQ. Uh, taking advantage of the space uh, without anything here by this expo. This is a great funneling space. You will uh, take advantage of the, the same on the other side at 1.30. So he used the uh, rage there for AQ. And then there it goes the golem uh, with those, uh, those wizards funneling really nicely. AQ just decided to go back uh, to grab the, the CC, so AQ taking it out with that uh, poison helping. Meanwhile from the other side, BK and Ballers, as you can see. Wall breakers will open that wall, and then a nice jump will lead the kill squad into AQ and that expo. AQ just decided to take care of the other uh, expo, so not much will remain on this base with those uh, 15 hogs and uh, a heal for them. You can see the base going down really smoothly. There they go, the hogs. Taking advantage of the tanking BK. Also a Golemite. Hawk surgically dropped from everywhere and right there in the middle by that wizard tower. Uh, that heal. AQ still had ability as you can see. Troops cleaning everywhere. So great job here for Nick on this triple. Really nice one. And we will end up on base 29 with Kuba. This uh, was a really awesome hit, as you will see. Uh, Queen Charge Lalo, but uh, really, really well made. You can see HQ started right there on those Teslas, so I had to use the the rage kind of immediately but the, the starting point uh, ended up being really valuable since he had um, those, those Teslas uh, taken out <coughs> you can see AQ walking nicely We'll now deal with that uh, Lava Hound. Meanwhile, I'm sending a wizard just to help cleaning those uh, trash buildings on the right. 
since IQ is uh, wasting a bit of time there with that uh, hound. Poison with uh, a couple of minions to help IQ to deal with those lava pups. Meanwhile, BK tanking. Nice test wall breaker, as you can see from far. Was taken out, so had to use some more. Using a rage right there will allow those uh, wall breakers to open that intersection greatly. Nice the uh, Kiwi value on that right side, as you can see. And now with the ability, he will clear a lot. And HQ will take out those two sweepers as the Lalo is already starting, as you can see. The troll Tesla showed up. So we sent a loon there at 9. But you can see a great uh, pathing for the for the loons. Nice rage. And then uh, a great scaly. Just uh, taking out AQ with the help of that pop from the, the loons. You can see minions everywhere. Still had a haste, still had three loons and a minion. So this was uh, an awesome raid, even an up and popped hound. Great base recognition from Kuba on this one. And uh, a really nice nice way to end up this uh, this recap. Nice victory over good rat. Uh, the nice performance from R11s mainly. Also nice job for our tents. I hope you have enjoyed the replays, see you on the next one.